Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for May the 22nd. Today in 1538, John Forrest, a Franciscan friar, was executed for daring to go against Henry VIII and making him the head of the Church of England. He was a strong opposer to the English Reformation. He and the other monks who were the Franciscan friars, they overtly rejected the plans to split away from the Catholic Church. He had actually trained as a theologian at Oxford before he became the confessor to Catherine of Aragon. He was so against what he saw as this blasphemous heresy that, along with some of the other friars, he found himself in front of Thomas Cranmer at Lambeth Palace, where he had to answer to charges of treason. There he was found guilty and sentenced to be burned at the stake. So his stake was actually a statue of St. Durfal, which had been brought from the church of Landerfell in Wales, and it was thrown onto a pile of firewood. And thus, according to popular belief, it fulfilled an old prophecy that this holy image would set a forest on fire. It also set John Forrest on fire, too. So there was a prophecy, right? The wooden statue was stuck on the pyre with forest attached for everyone to see in the middle of Smithfields in London. It took two hours for him to burn, during which time he supposedly prayed for his enemies. And to this day, it's said that his remains can be found in one corner of St. Mark's Hospital, which sits opposite the Friars Monastery. He was beatified in 1886, and today is his feast day. That's your Tudor Minute. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.